Hey guys, what's up? Hi, peeps. <laughs> Jake's got a little cold going on. He just he was running all over the place, so he's a little tuckered out. But uh, right now, this is another suburban uh, update. What I did this morning, I didn't film it. I continued on the rear end uh, with the wiring, and because um, uh, I had an accident with the truck, I got cut off, and then ass ended. I didn't have no uh, little lights, as they call them, or uh, positioning lights at night. And uh, I figured that out. The uh, there was just a main plug that just it came unplugged with the impact, and I got one reverse light working. So um, I changed the bulbs. I thought maybe it was that, but uh, further testing will have to be done. At least I have one. Um, so if the cops do pull me over, I can pass it as maybe it's a burnt light. But right now, what I'm doing in the dash is that I had the brake controller. This is the uh, 12 volt accessory area, and then you usually have an ashtray. But uh, mine didn't come with an ashtray, and I really don't care. But what I did is I modded, as you can see, I uh, used the Dremel to kind of open up this area. And I'm going to have the brake controller in there, and there's a conveniently a little light up on top, which is kind of cool. But uh, I have to change out all my 12-volt uh, accessories. These are the stock ones. They're, they weren't working. Because I was getting, uh, with my tester there, I was getting 12 volts. So there was a problem in between there and that. But uh, what I'll do is I'll just swap them out with all new ones like this. I already have one wired up. And uh, it works fine, flawlessly. And uh, it's written center. And I did various testing, like, uh, you know, switch, switch uh, that gray switch onto the left or the right. And it still wasn't giving me any power. But now it is. It's working fine, so... Go down that route. So I got to go ahead to Canadian Tire and get to two more of these 12 volt adapters and uh, some more butt connectors. I think these are called. Butt so I can. Uh, <laughs> so I can. Uh, so I can extend the wires there. You see hanging down back up to this. It'll clean up the dash area a little more. There's a lot of holes and accessories. There was another switch I took out. I don't know where the fuck that thing was going to, but it was broke. So. All right, so let's continue with the monster. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, bringing the truck to the garage this morning for the accident we have. Uh, the front end there and some other mi miscellaneous shit like my check engine light came on, my ABS. I uh, put in the uh, new auxiliary 12 volts there, but uh, I kept throwing fuses. I threw about four of them. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to check that out today if I get the truck back from the garage, if they'll keep it or not. And uh, this is the, the collateral right here. And the plastic trim here is all buckled up and broke. I got a spot on the hood now, right there. I also got, this is totally misaligned now. And uh, the fender here is bent in. I got a check engine light, ABS light came on, and I have one reverse light that's totally not working anymore. Uh, I fucked around with the wires and that, like, I'm going to show you my video, but I got one that isn't working anymore. And uh, this rear bumper is bent down about half an inch. You can kind of see where it needs to align. This goes up pretty close to there, so. And, uh... That's it. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like maybe 15, 20 minutes before we go to the garage. I'm going to throw on my springs on the antenna. So I'll be back with that. Yo, peeps. What's up? Another unbox today. It's always fun doing an unbox. I know what's in here. You guys don't know. <laughs> Got Noemi making snacks for the kids. We got Alex munching down. She burnt her hand really bad at my dad's place this weekend. On the wood stove. One of the kids I think brought her down without surveillance. And she burnt her hand. It was a wonderful Easter Sunday. So, what did we get? Lots of crap. We got another magnet with a Audi. 
That looks pretty cool, that Audi, actually. Very square, very quattro, very rally looking. Mm -hmm. So we got that. I ordered a blue handle for a uh, driver's side because it's gray and I just want everything to fit. Kind of looks weird. I got. Two of these. They're uh, plungers for the door. So the lights will come on with driver and passenger. I got two. Passenger's fine, but it's like really delayed. You open the door and it comes on like 10 minutes later. So. Yeah, I got this. Which is our unlocks, which is, this was actually pretty expensive. Focus, camera. Come on. There you go. I got two of these. The driver and passenger door needed it. And these are um, plastic moldings that go around the door handle. So I got a little, little work to do today on the truck, maybe taking about an hour. So I'll bring you guys outside and we'll install all that. Hey guys, well, you take your defrost while the heating vent out and uh, just f fumble the wires through there. Let me grab the part, find it down here in the box, and uh, clip this in and just push it in, it's done. Set up and ready to go. I tested it out. It's not seating 100% right, but. I fucked around with it and I can't do better than that, but it doesn't show everything's back to normal. I had to glue this vent back on because the little tabs were broke, but oh well, I don't think I'll be going down in that area anytime soon again anyways. So let's try to fish the plug out on the other side. That's always one hell of a job. So... Time to fish that bitch out of that hole. Catch you guys soon. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Uh, I went on the passenger side to uh, try and get my my hitch or catch or whatever it's called, electric one here, uh, functioning. I uh, called around the uh, scrap yards and it's like no one has that. It's like fuck, it's, there's so many models that are the same thing. It just repeats itself, you know. The uh, Astro van, you got all the pickups, you got all the Suburbans. Uh, the Tahoe, I mean, even in Cadillac, Escalades, uh, it's, it's all the same thing, and it's like nobody has it. Uh, this one was really, really weak. It would move once in a while, but then it would just die down. Driver's side is fine. I got all that. I got the, the uh, blue mold on there now instead of the, uh, the gray. It looks a lot better. I got this done over here. That's going good. So... The uh, junkyard is going to call me back in about 45 minutes, last resort. Hopefully you can find one and uh, test it, see if it works. And uh, we'll go pick it up, depending upon how much it is. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for uh, following me along. <laughs> Took a break from uh, working on the truck. There's over there. Come to the park with the kids. I guess there's room for two in that one. <laughs> they were giggling at first. There's a cool park here. And in the summer, there's a public pool, so that's cool. That rhymes. Go, guys, catch you later. Hey, guys, a little recap from yesterday with the uh, the lamp switches or whatever you want to call them, door switches, door actuator light, light actuator switch. I have no idea. Anyways, those are installed. They're working fine. Uh, door lock here, working fine. The electrical door switch here to lock and unlock this fuck and the one in back. I got two of those on the way. Uh, EGR valve uh, check engine light went out, but I still ordered one because it comes and goes and it's probably going to go for good. Uh, what else is going on? I have a... Uh, I cleaned the truck too last night. But you can see kind of like the gas is leaking out. And the cap is really, it's really weak. So I ordered a new filler neck and cap 
because the filler neck is really rusted underneath and uh, get that done good morning good morning so the truck is going good I got a few spots I need to touch up the more I wash it the more I see some little spots nothing major but uh, there's a recap for uh, what we did yesterday and he's teething he's not feeling so good but uh, I'll catch you guys later yo I'm back all right, I guess phase three of phase, I don't know what, for the doors. I just got done taking the uh, electric actuator out for the door lock. I don't think it was ever changed because the uh, stock factory rivets were still in there. I had to uh, drill them out. So, and I was like, maybe it's a burnt fuse, but if it was a burnt fuse for the locked door, all of them wouldn't work. I'm pretty sure they're all relayed together. So, that, and I took my... Uh, trusty wire brush and I cleaned up the contacts they were like green so that probably helped a little bit or is going to help a little bit but uh, yeah so uh, I don't really need to take off the two other panels just this one here drill out your rivets and it comes right out and they're all the same if you order one for the left door or the right door or the rear barn hatch they're all the same actuator it's just the bracket underneath the way it's placed so you can go ahead and order any one left right rear they're all the same unless you have the tailgate version i think theirs is made a little different to fit in the tailgate but uh, barn doors like mine are the same as the front and the left uh, the uh, driver's side and the left side or whatever you want driver's passenger side oh my god i can't fucking talk so, keep moving forward. I already ordered them. They should be shipped out today. Should be getting them in a week or so, and uh, I'll be back with you guys and put them in. This guy's running after his wife or something. I don't know. Following the truck. Now he's looking at it. Something's wrong. Anyways, weird situations in Quebec.